Welcome to the motherfucking Josh Cash Show, you motherfucker. Oh, sorry, that's too loud. Hey, welcome. I'm supposed to be laid back. Hey, welcome to the show. Thanks for listening. All right, it's Tuesday night here, and yesterday, as you saw, boat boat my coverage. Uh, wasn't sure if I was going to go there because it was free headshot night. For those who know what a headshot is, is when someone shoots in the head. No, it's when someone you take high quality pictures for shows. But I don't get on shows, so I wasn't sure if I was going to go. But then Hedonist John texted me out of the blue and said, "Hey, you need a ride." I, so I went with him, and you know, it took a little while for us to find the parking situation. Got there, you saw the vlog. No, you know, Hedonist John is my. We're, we're, we're content friends again. So his girlfriend takes him back, and then that's it, folks. You won't see him ever again. Well, that's fine. I wouldn't accept that. Go MGTOW, bros. And then uh, today I played basketball. Played for like a fucking, I would say 30, 45 minutes. Got a great sweat. Then when I got home, I turned my computer on. I had a fan failure error. For those who don't know, when your fan gets too much dust, you have to clean it. So I try to open up my computer. My fucking mom's calling me, leaving me voicemails. I'm screaming, stop fucking calling me, you fucking cunt. And I fucking open the thing up. I'm sweating my balls off, cleaning all this dust. I'm blowing dust in my face. Oh, it was terrible. It was disgusting. But I fucking cleaned it, put everything back, and I finally fixed something. I turned the thing on. No error message. Let that fan blow. I haven't cleaned the dust out of that like my ass. It's been years, everybody. After this clip, you're going to hear a new prank phone call called Craigslist Questions. Or ask a bunch of random questions, I think, to a guy and a woman. I creep them out and stuff. It's a lot of fun. And, uh, oh, yeah, I've had, the job situation, I've not heard back from them yet. Uh, last time I heard back from them was Thursday. I told you I fill out this thing. So keep you posting on that for the one or two people who care. Even though it's my business, none of yours. And that's that. So let's get to the freaking uh, topical news. If there's... Uh, if there's any, besides everyone talking about fucking, uh, it says, uh, spin begins on Katie Holmes and Jamie Foxx's breakup. Oh my God. It's the interracial couple is, is broken up. Who cares? And it says, uh, Larry King files from divorce with, from his seventh wife. Why would you get married six, se- seven times? I can understand getting married maybe twice, and then after the tw- after the second time, it's like, okay, that's enough. Clearly, I'm not marriage material. It says Seinfeld uh, sends his oldest, it says eldest, daughter off to college. What does that mean, eldest? I thought it was oldest, okay? So she's going to get that BBC. Nice. Rapper Twist is signing interpreter shot oh yeah so he he raps really fast and he has a sign language interpreter i mean we've seen that on rap god it's not too surprising andy richter shuts down barefoot plane passenger i guess andy richter was on a plane and that is pretty gross this person has their feet over it. there's a lot of people do that i've seen people clipping their toenails on the train clipping their fingernails it's just gross a lot of people just have no respect good for you andy richter you finally did something funny i'm kidding i know a lot of people that, that, that like uh Andy uh, Richter. It says uh, Little Caesars new pizza has four different toppings. Uh, clit, cock. No, I'm just kidding. I threw that in. Try to be silly. It says the Quattro pizza. Oh, it's looks like it's pepperoni and sausage. Two slices of prosciutto. Classic cheese and everything. I don't know. Well, Little Caesars. I like the idea of them. I've not. I've not had Little Caesars. I think in a year since me and Goat did that podcast at Sparky's last year. Now I'm in the movie some Little Caesars Pizza. It says, Zero tolerance for harassment. Leaders react to Philadelphia police. Yeah, Philadelphia police should have knocked those fucking black people out. And I know it's racist to say black. They were all black. And it's, you know, because because they were all fucking throwing, you know, throwing shit at the cops. One bitch was going to act like she was going to hit a cop. I wish that cop would have knocked that fucking black bitch the fuck out. ex player rips Lakers for signing Dudley over Carmelo. Yeah, Carmelo's still good, but... He hasn't won any rings. Not that good, huh? Oh, yeah, this is food news. Popeyes and Chick-fil-A start a feud feud sandwich over their spicy chicken, and Wendy's joins in. And, uh, listen, I have not tried the Popeyes uh, spicy chicken sandwich, but I love Wendy's spicy chicken. I haven't had that in a long time. It says, Popeye's chicken says, y'all good? It says, bun chicken plus pickles equals love. Yes, so, uh, Chick-fil-A... Oh, yeah, so Chick-fil-A took a shot through. It said blood plus... So, all for the original. So, yeah, Popeye's chicken did, you know, uh, have the two pickle thing, and Popeye's stole that from them. Sounds like someone just ate one of our biscuits because y'all looking thirsty. Oh! Says Popeye's chicken. 
And then Wendy says, y'all out here fighting about which of these fools has the second best chicken sandwich. Now, why are they talking black? And then Wendy says, laugh out loud, guess that means the food is dry as the jokes. Popeyes, sounds like someone ate her. Okay, yeah, it's kind of weird because it's, it's, uh, it's like they're talking black. You know, other people do eat Wendy's and Popeyes and besides uh, blacks, you know. But I guess that's their main demographic. I don't know. I know Popeyes, but I see whenever I go to Popeyes, there's always some Chinese woman selling DVDs. What's up with that? Uh, Texas State uh, quarterback charged with six counts of rape. It's a black guy. Hey, why are you why are you raping uh, uh, people for? I thought you I thought you black guys had to go at all. Trump says any Jewish people that vote for a Democrat dot dot dot. Oh, I love Trump. I love that he's still president. Everyone thought he was going to be impeached. It's not happening, folks. He's making it four years at least. Four years. Trump 2020. Trump 2020. Fucking unsubscribe, you fucks. Seventh grader wins $15,000 and donates all of it to charity? You stupid fuckhead. You fucking dumbass. Why would you donate all of it? Okay, you want to donate the half of it? That's more than grateful. You're still going to make the news. If you donate a thousand, that's that's going to make the news. You, 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 you donate all of it? What do you think? You're going to be rich? You don't know what your parents make, you fucking shit. You're an idiot. All right, sorry. Someone does something nice and I'm angry. I don't know why. Yeah, everyone's talking about the Epstein thing. Did he do it? Did he not do it? No one knows. Let's stop talking about it. Okay. Yeah, Larry King was married to that chick for tw- uh, 22 years. Arkansas State football coach wife dies at 49 years old. I don't know why that's news. No offense. I mean, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. Be gonna Heather Locklear shares sobriety update with telling photo on Instagram. She looks awful. Remember Heather Locklear used to look like this, really gorgeous blonde haired, uh, green eyed or blue eyed angel. She looks like a fucking trailer park slut mother. And not in a good way. Not in a hot way. Like, ooh. Like a bad way. She looks terrible. No makeup. Old wrinkles. See, sometimes you cuts hit the wall. Douglas and wife uh, Zeta Jones and Red. They're still together, huh? Yeah, she gave him throat cancer. Remember when Miktel Channel made that video? Eating pussy causes throat cancer. Be careful, guys, when you eat the chooch. Some guys like eating the chooch. Well, speaking of eating chooch, this podcast eats pussy. And I mean that in a bad way. It sucks. Why do you listen to it? I don't know. Well, we got public freakouts on the way. All right? We got sober commentary with drunk people on the way. Not guaranteed, but usually 90% at least guaranteed. And anything else that happens. Tomorrow night, I plan to be at the Bill Miller open mic. Or I might go, I keep saying I'm going to go to Jersey, but let's be honest. I'm too lazy to go to Jersey. So anything else that happens, I record this every other day. We got to find out what happens. Uh, you got to keep listening. This is the first, but yet worse, podcast in Philly. And this is your favorite podcast show that hardly anybody listens to. What's going to happen next? Let's find out, you cunheads. Hello? Yes, is this the pawn shop? Game video games. Can I help you? Yeah, I'm looking at that Note 8 Galaxy. You still have it? Yeah, we still have it. Is this the one with the 6.3 Quad HD? I don't know, man. I don't know how many notes eight. You can come to the shops, check it out. I mean, I just, I just want to make sure it's the right phone. Uh, I hope it's, I hope it's got the eight MPAFs and the pixel size one point two two UMs. Text me whatever you need, and I could check it for you. Make sure you have it. All right. Do you think it has the selective wide selfie focus on it? I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't even know where to find that. You know. That's it does it have? It does it have the uh the penis zoom on it? I don't know, man. I don't know. Because I'm trying to make my penis look wider for these girls. You know, nowadays you don't have a wide one. They don't. Hello. Hello. Uh, yeah. Hey, how you doing? Um, I'm calling about the gaming PC. Do you still have that available? Hello. Oh, I'm sorry. I have to ask my husband what you are calling about. He's uh the Craigslist ad says a, a gaming uh custom PC here. Oh, no, no. Gaming oh, oh, PC. Okay. <laughs> yeah, um, he he hardly can speak English. So let me translate. Which one? Which one you are talking about? He's saying like. Uh, two thousand eight hundred dollars. 
Uh, yeah, like yeah it says it's uh, two two thousand eleven year. Uh, it says uh, twenty eight hundred dollars. Right, right. That's what he was asking. Yeah. Um, yeah. So you want to know if it's still available? Uh, yes, ma'am. Okay, let me ask. Oh, he's saying uh, 2011. That's the uh, the model. Yeah, is it still is it still for sale? Yeah, it is still for sale. He's saying like uh, somebody's gonna come and look tomorrow. Two uh, two people. Oh, so you're already selling it? All right, I, that's why I was calling for. Her. You want to come and see as well? I don't know. I, I mean, I want to buy it. I mean, I, I I'll come today if you if you if you're willing to sell it. Okay, hold on. Let me just tell him. Um, to okay, yeah, he's saying, okay, you can come today and see, um, so just to make sure, $2,800, the price. Yes, I have uh, $2,000 and um, I use my hand on him. What that means? Um, I put my hand in his pants and I shake it, you know, to he feels good. Excuse me? You know, just a little happy ending uh, for the price. I 2000 and uh, uh, I use my hand. What do you mean when you use your hand? Is it a joke? No, no. I put my, my mouth on the top of his pants and, you know, make him do what you do better, do it better than you. You know what? You are joking. I don't have attitude to joke with you right now. No, okay? I'm not. I'm not joking. I two thousand. Yes. And what I. What do you mean? Just you mouth. Or what what pants has to do with it? Be, you crazy? No. You can watch and you can do too. I do to you. You, you know. You know what? You go and do that to your friends. I don't have. Any fr- I don't have any friends. <laughs> All right, it's uh, Thursday night here, and uh, le- yesterday, pretty much, I fucking uh, got soaked in the rain. You saw the blog. I went to Bill Miller's open mic. I was actually thinking about going to Jersey this time, but it's a good thing I didn't because I ended up taking a poo around 6.50 p.m., which means, I mean, it's not a big deal. I could poo at the tap room. It's this giant bar. They have multiple bathrooms, but I would have to poo there, but... I, I, at, the, at the end of the open mic, there was only five of us. There was only one audience member, Bill's wife, and it was, it was Bill's wife, and then it was only like four performers. Or was it three? Oh, yeah, it was four of us. And then uh, fucking, as soon as I walked back, it started drizzling. Then it started pouring. Then it started flooding. I got soaked. But luckily, when I came home, you know, I threw my socks and my my uh, fucking shorts. No underwear. You see my cock through my uh, shorts if you look close enough. Hey, no one wants to see that. Thank God I bought my raincoat before I was going to leave. I was like, should I bring this raincoat? I probably won't need it. I said, ah, it can't hurt to bring it. So I brought it, and whew, I finally did something smart in my life because, you know, my phone got wet. My screen, my screensaver is kind of a little bit fucked up. I might order another one off Amazon. Shouldn't cost too much. I do have credit card points. But the only good thing about living at home in my parents' basement, folks, is, well, I have, a, I have a washer and dryer right near my room. So I threw everything in the dryer, my bag... Uh, you know, the clothes and everything, and it was fine. And I threw my sneakers in the dryer today for about a good 20 minutes. They came out fine. So there you go. I almost pooped myself today. I made lasagna earlier, and I put a little bit too much red pepper in there. I just, and I went to go fart, and whew. folks, if I would have pushed a little too hard, would have came right out of my bunghole. And that's it. That's all that's going on. I already recorded the uh, public freakout commentary, and there was one segment in there that made me laugh harder. I never laughed harder, and probably the history of the show in this segment. And it's not even that funny. You might listen to it and go, it's not that funny. I had tears coming out of my eyes listening to these two guys argue. So you're going to listen to that. Probably going to end up doing a prank call show out of that one. But let's get to the topical news if there's anything. If there's anything going on. Sometimes there usually is. 
There's a manhunt underway for a sniper who shot a deputy. Jesus. The whole fucking... It's like Grand Theft Auto. The whole fucking army's after him. Tommy Lee was kicked out of Emerald's restaurant. Let me guess. He stuck his big white cock in the martinis. Post office will be named for mass shooting hero. It's a black gentleman with glasses. McGregor, punching pub patron was wrong. Yeah, you shouldn't use your skills outside the ring to beat people up. You can kill some money. That's right. That's Mike Tyson. He just beats people up, that guy, because he's an animal, that guy. Animal in and outside the ring. Eagles honor six Philadelphia police officers who were shot last week. That's the fucking thing to do. Popeye's Chick-fil-A started chicken sandwich. Yeah, I did that bit last night on stage. I already did that in the last segment. The Rock ties the knot with uh, some... Is that his wife? She looks very mediocre. Why is he getting married again? It says it's black woman's equal payday. What the fuck? Don't black women get enough money for their nails and hair? Just... I don't know what they do. Robbing places? I don't know. Head chef at Carpini in Grand Central has been missing for days. Yeah, so I don't know why The Rock would get married again. I mean, I guess he likes... Some guys like losing a lot. I think they have too much money. And they like losing half their money. Two women. Walmart makes a big move after a Paso shooting. There's a big memorial outside with flowers and teddy bears and flags. And you can pay your respects. And then go in and get 30% off your favorite products. I don't know if there's a discount for that. Woman stunned after catching fish with two mouths. So that's one of God's plan. Have a fish with two mouths. Video shows uh, stampeding bison and plowed to a family's car. Holy shit, it's a whole bunch of these fucking rhino looking things. Amazon shoppers can't get enough of a $20 doorbell. Yeah, I'll order one of those. I'll be like every other idiot in the world. Neo Nazi arrested after threatening a racial war. It's an Asian guy. I guess he's tired of white guys banging his Asian chicks. Kill the white man, he says, probably. Or, I don't know, if maybe this gets to black, so I don't know. Who knows these days who people hate? Everyone is nervous. Trump muddles his message onto the economy. I thought we had a good economy, huh? They quit uh, Trump's golf club. Getting their refund may take 85 years. So, that means they're not going to get it. They'll be dead by then. Give it to their kids. And it's just a bunch of football news. There's not much really going on. If there is, I'm missing it. Well, that's it. Enjoyed the public freakout commentary, and we'll go from there. All right, fuckheads? This is public freakout commentary, and title dance holes recording and being recorded all around the world. Shows play clips here and here. It is the best show that covers it with the best coverage. That's right, YouTube channel. They've been putting up old fucking clips from months ago. I'm ahead of the curb. I'm the most prolific public freakout damn segment out there. And if you want to hear public freakouts, well, of course, you can go to the Reddit and get it yourself, but why not listen to the show and play along? I have 11 clips. Let's get right to it. The first one, this is from World Star. Good old World Star. White guy gets checked for calling some black guys gorillas. So this is some sort of moving company. White guy says, hey, go, go get those gorillas to help you. And uh, man, they don't they didn't take it lightly. Now, they weren't angry. They tried to just use the, you know, the plea. So they tried to cop a... Please, since he sensed that ass whooping coming. So here it is. So the black guy positions the camera on a mount somewhere so we can call the guy up. Um, so my question, man, because you put me in a real awkward, uncomfortable spot, me and you had a negative situation because of this air compressor. It wasn't positive, it was negative. And then your demeanor has been frustrating for you and me. I've never had anybody do what you did in reference to, you know, my friends, you calling them gorillas. No, no, no. What I did was I used... What friend was you referring to as a gorilla, though? No, 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 no. 
Who who are you referring to as a gorilla? Just somebody that's strong. But do you I go, I go to C-Max and I say, hey, we got a, we got a hustle of 25 horse motor up these stairs. We're gonna need a couple real strong guys. Okay. Okay. But here's I, what happens. Now I actually believe this white guy, and the reason why is because there's like five black guys here. So I really don't, and this is like a, a middle-aged, out of shape, fat white guy. So I really don't think he's that stupid to call black guys gorillas. No, he could have got his ass whooped. So I don't know. Maybe he did. Maybe he didn't. I know a lot of people are biased, but I don't think, I don't think he really meant it that way. But we all know that black people, once again, it's only okay if they make fun of you. We gotta be careful what they call them because you're gonna cry or they whoop your ass. Here, 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 here's what happened. So soon as you said, with an attitude. Yeah, well, you Joe, just just have uh, your your two gorilla friends help help no, me, no, okay? I, and you, then you and then and then as soon I, as I, I said, I, listen, as soon as I said, what did you say? You said, oh yeah, you're strong guys. Yeah, okay, I did. So let me let me just point the facts out. You're a white man. We are black men. And by the guy, by the way, the guy looks like a big pussy from Sopranos. If he didn't have, if he had, if he had uh, gray hair instead of black hair. Today is not the safest time to be referring to no black people that respect themselves as gorillas we are I'm, not the I, people you want to do that to can i can i okay listen i meant gorilla by being strong i went to paris high school i was two white guys in none, of that, school. none of that matters because yes it does obviously he was trying to fit in and obviously he was trying to get some of that black coochie no but see i'm just telling you okay you're, you're, I'm, I'm, trust me on this. You're lucky okay. that I got respect for myself. Okay. Okay. Because there's plenty of black men out there who would not handle it the way I'm handling it because. Excuse me, I, I, not to cut you off. It's some of us would not give a fuck if you're 75 or six years old. If you're going to disrespect us, you're, you're disrespecting Look, us. So if I'm. I, if I, I didn't mean to disrespect you, and on that part of it, I owe you an apology. Look, my dentist is a black is a black dentist. My doctor That's where you is go black. wrong. In case you don't Wait a minute, he's not racist. His dentist is black. And he makes a good point. Who on earth would go to a black dentist? Nobody. Not a racist person. I wouldn't go to a black dentist, would you? No, no. This is where you go wrong by trying to name who's black. No, 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 I don't it, 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 listen. I went to school. There you I'm, go. Okay, I'm a I'm a okay. I'm a I'm a Quaker by Okay, oh, we're gonna end this and I just wanted to bring it to your attention by you referring to my friends, to me, to my blackness, to our blackness as gorillas. It was the wrong thing to do. I'm sorry you associated that. All I was associating was with somebody that was You could have just said strong. You could have yeah, he could have said strong, but he wanted to say gorillas, and you know, I, I don't think I think ape is worse. If he would have said ape, I think that's you know, or monkeys, I can understand that. But gorillas, it's not too often that you know black people get called gorillas; they get called apes and monkeys. But gorillas, come on now, that's just ancient stuff right there. Say strong, because when I checked you, you changed it to strong. I changed it. Yeah. I said, you know what? Maybe I should have used that vernacular. It's not a maybe. It was wrong. Okay, because. It's not wrong. Okay, so that's pretty much the end of it. The black people, once again, it's okay for them to make fun of you and everything else, but you say something to them, they record you, you lose your job, they beat you up, they kill you. This is the one side of where we live in, folks. Okay, so this next one, this is called Go Fuck Yourself. This made me laugh. I only watched five seconds of it. This is two white guys. A white guy pulls up in a car, starts yelling up. The guy who's recording him is up in a window. He's yelling up at somebody. They're yelling at each other. This is only a minute and 32. I only watched five seconds on this. This shit had me howling. This is great stuff. I'm gonna come up there right now and I'm gonna fucking stuff that thing up your fucking ass. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. No. Go fuck you yourself. You are the most disrespectful son of a bitch. Go fuck yourself, Cuffy. You have no respect for you. <laughs> I think both of these guys both have funny voices. But the guy in the window who's recording has a funnier voice. Go fuck yourself, Cuffy! Yourself! Go fuck yourself, Cuffy! <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I got tears in my eyes already. It's only 23 seconds in. You, I find that on YouTube, and it's gonna go right up your fucking ass. Oh, it's on YouTube, and it's on Reddit.
I don't know how many views, but it's up there. Fuck yourself! Yeah, well, I already put in a complaint to the police yesterday about you. Go fuck yourself! <laughs> oh my god, I don't know why. I don't know why, just the way he's saying it. Go fuck yourself! And the guy turns back and looks at him. I haven't laughed this hard in a while. I needed this. Say it again! Go fuck yourself! <laughs> I can't... Oh, I got tears coming out of my eyes. So he says, go fuck yourself again. And I'm the... <laughs> and all the white guys running inside the house like he's going to beat him up. You fucking idiot! Come on out! So now the guy's filming inside of his house. The guy's outside of his door and he's calling him out. And oh my god, I gotta wipe my eyes. Oh, I haven't laughed that hard. I can watch this all day. I gotta save this video. Oh my god. Go fuck yourself! Next time I see you face to face, you're the one that's gonna go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself! <laughs> It's just such a silly argument. You're dead meat. Go fuck yourself! No. Dead meat! Go fuck yourself! <laughs> and now the guy's laughing. And the guy walks out of his porch. He's going, he's going downstairs. Oh, he's going to do What is he going to do? Oh, he's going to hit his car or something. Oh, no, he's going to the back door. Oh, man, I could watch that all day. I wish that was an hour long. Okay, so this next one, this is pretty fucked up. This is a black guy, a short black guy. He's a real tough guy. He punches a fat white guy in a wheelchair. Well, you know, with Supermarket, they got those those handicapped wheelchair shopping carts, motor carts. He punches them in the lunch meat section for talking back. 14 seconds. I don't know why I put this in, but... <laughs> Where you need it. I'm not worried about you. You're not about I'm not worried about you, okay? I'm hey, not you're worried about you. Get out of here. Grab him, motherfucker. Grab him on me. Okay. So he punched him in the face, and the guy starts to get up now, and he just walks away. And then the black guy's gonna say, It's that easy. It's that motherfucker easy. Yeah. He hey, said, Is that easy? <laughs> oh, I wish he would have got his ass whooped. <laughs> He's like real short. He's like the bagel boss guy size. Real. Fucking okay. This next one. This is a woman quitting at Dunkin' Donuts. She have got quit or she got fired. I think she got fired, and she's just breaking the place up. This is more cunt behavior. Oh, she's with a black guy. That explains it. Actually, it might not be a black guy she's with. That's just my racism. Oh, man. Go fuck yourself. Go to fuck yourself. Oh, man. Okay, so that was a quick one. More of a visual than the audio. Okay, this one's pretty good. This is for anybody out there who's going to be a father. This is dad kicks the crap out of pedophile, exposing himself at a park. This dad beats the shit out of this guy. This guy's pulling his pants up. He was showing his pecker to a couple of kids, and this guy beats the fuck out. More of a visual once again, but mm. Oh, now he just. So the guy has his. Now, now this is not a fair fight because the pedophile. You know, you know why pedophiles can't fight? Because they always have their pants around their ankles. Uh. The guy's, he's trying to fight back, but his pants is falling off his ass. So he's just, this guy's just wailing on him. Now he falls down to the ground with his ass on the ground. Oh, he kicks him right in the face. Now the thing about this is, this pedophile, even though he's a piece of shit for showing his cock to his kid, he could sue for assault. So that's why you got to be careful if you beat a pedophile's ass on camera. I'm not going to get that. I'm going to get our car. Come on. We'd better get up to the top. <laughs> Pull your fucking pants up, you sick fuck. Uh, 
<laughs> it's okay, I've seen worse at school. He came back with his penis hanging out of his pants. I know. <laughs> and the kid seems flattered. Kid seems almost flattered and laughing like he had his penis out of his pants. And he's wearing long socks too. The pedophile is. Guess God didn't have his back on that one. Guess not. And he's still putting his cock back in his pants, the guy. He's like, I got my ass cut, my ass kicked, but I gotta put my cock away. Alright, so they get in the car, and that's about it. Uh, that was actually worth disabling my uh, app blocker for. This one is, uh, this is a white security guard trying to pick a fight with a big black guy. And, uh, yeah, man, you don't, you don't pick a fight with someone who's bigger than you. He holds his own for a little bit, but he should have done this. So let's, this is in a 7-Eleven or some sort of convenience store. It's sitting on the fucking ground, stupid. You just gave your fucking time to hey, dumb bitch. Get the fuck off, man. Yeah. Call the police if you want to, nigga. My brother is a cop right there in the car. Jacob, call him. My brother is a law enforcement officer, too, stupid bitch. Fucking face. So this, I feel like the so the security guy. I'm not sure if he used unnecessary force, but he liked the fact the guy in his face. He chokes the guy, slams him against the bubble gum, and now here it goes. Here goes the brawl. Oh. The black guy starts throwing some big haymakers. Cop kind of blocks some of it. They're in a head. They're kind of uh, in a grapple right now, and now they're going to slam towards the cash register. Oh, oh, Black guys throwing some big punches, and now it's being broken up by two guys, three guys. So now it's like it took five guys to break that up, and it looked like they were trying to uh, jump the whitey there. Now this is this is something common. This is something common on this show in this segment. Black women are fucking. More nuts than black men. They're fucking insane. Black women go nuts in fast food places. I think that what happens is they get on their period. They get a big uh, flow. And then they decide to go to McDonald's or Popeye's or one of these places. And if they don't get their order, they go fucking nuts. Alright? They go fucking nuts. And this is what she does. She's in a McDonald's. There's only 46 seconds. And she starts throwing stuff at people. Everyone's running out. It's like fucking King Kong. Everyone's scared of this black woman. She's she's not even that big, by the way. She's like medium medium build. I mean, this is a common thing on this segment. So she picks up the, she picks up a whole coffee machine, a silver coffee machine, and throws it. Throws hot coffee on people. And now the employee throws it back. Yes, thank you. Who cares if you lose your shit job at McDonald's? You gotta defend yourself. Hit that fucking ape in the head. I don't care if that's racist. Hit that fucking cunt. This is so now she picks it up and throws it again even harder. Misses. The chick and the chick by the counter throws something at her. Nails her. But awesome. Ooh, she threw something really hard. And they're trying to stop her, like the employees, but it's like, no, at that point, who cares if you lose your little shitty McDonald's job? You gotta defend yourself. Somebody's fucking, bad enough you gotta deal with enough shit, you got this fucking jungle monkey throwing stuff at you. Oh, and the employee still throws it. Good for you. Good for you. And good for them for sticking up for themselves. I like that. Now, this is another black woman. This is another one at Popeye's. This is 45 seconds. She's mad because she didn't get any sauce. She's like a little baby. She didn't get any sauce. This is why women are children. She didn't get any sauce for her little Popeye's meal. And now she's going to kill somebody. 
Another fucking black bitch on her period. Here it goes. If I spend my money, I need to get what the fuck I deserve. Hey, I'll call you back now. Look, <laughs> sorry, yeah. <laughs> bitch go track. Homie, That's what I'm trying to find out. Is, is this sauce coming out your pocket? Do y'all got more of this sauce laying around? Because I'm looking at a shitload. The little sorry ass bitch in drive through okay. told me y'all didn't have any more sauce. I'm talking to that bitch right there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> bitch wants to tell me if there was no more sauce. And I'm looking at a shitload of sauce. You trifling patty bitch. No. That don't make no sense. I ordered, I spent my money. I see everything more than one motherfucking sauce. Can somebody give me some sauce, please? Yes, I can. Thank you. So I think at Popeyes, they have a policy where they, you know you have to pay extra money. But man, fuck. Okay, let's get to this. Uh, this one is 18 seconds. I should have put this up. I don't. This stuff kind of upsets me. I don't like fights. This is more of a visual. But there's uh, a fight at Denny's. I think these random people just jumped somebody into Denny's. I'm not sure if they said something to them. But they started beating up this guy. Like a, a gang of dudes. This is in a Denny's in San Jose. <laughs> And they're like stomping him and shit. They're like jumping up and down on him. Finally, gets broken up. That is enough. That is enough. That is enough, you guys. And now they run out of the restaurant like a bunch of fags. That is enough. That is enough. Jesus, Denny's is dangerous. I never ate at Denny's before, and I'm glad I never did. Now this one's interesting. Remember that handicapped guy who got punched by that black guy in the chair? This is a, this is sort of similar. So this guy doesn't punch him. This is in London or UK, one of those places. This guy wants to fight a a uh, a handicapped guy. And man, is he vicious. He doesn't hit him. He gets thrown out the store, but whew. 30 seconds. Let's get to this. Malcolm, but leave me alone. Don't tell me yet. I'll fucking hurt you. I'll take that Malcolm. stick off you. I'll stick it up your ass. You'll turn into a lollipop, you little fucking oh. dick. Now that's creative. I'll stick your stick up your ass and turn you around like a lollipop. I like it. Malcolm. I'm, I swear to fucking God, wait. There's no cameras in that, you little fucking goo. Watch. I was nice to you then, you little fucking dim. What? With a fucking stump all over your fucking disabled leg, you fucking crippled cunt. Watch me. Fucking watch me. Damn, he called him a crippled cunt. Now this last one, let's get to this one. I'm a fan of old school racism, and this is a old middle-aged fat white guy. I'm not sure if this is a DMV or what this is, but he calls somebody a jigaboo. That's right, an old school term, a jigaboo. Let's get to it. Sir, really? Don't worry, sir, man. I'm, I'm a bit of a Really? This is not it's, good. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not. Doesn't matter. Yes, no, they're playing a full, I'm legitimately outraged. Well, you can be that way, but you don't. I don't care. No. Clearly, clearly, dude. I don't care. Shut up. Man, wow. Wow. Give me the farm, you fool! <laughs> yeah, can you send? Give me the farm, you asshole! Wow. You fucking jigaboo! Ooh. Give me the. <laughs> I like to see black people shocked because usually black people's behavior shocks me, but it's nice when they're shocked for a change. Notice that it was mostly black women. They're like, oh, <gasps> I can't believe I actually said my last name. That's right, folks. My name is Josh Jigaboo. I use Jack just as an alias. A fucking farm! Oh. Can, can you send me a police rack? Yeah. Can you send right me a farm, you yeah, fucking nigger! Oh, there it is! Once again, I love the fact that white people are just being white people again. Trump 2020! Trump 2020! Oh, oh, no. That's a nice. hey, Can you get a flight, nigger? Oh. oh, wow. So they gotta call the cops on him to call a hate crime, and that's it. That's the end. He just walks out and said he says it again. So once again, man, this has been public freakout commentary. It keeps getting worse and worse. More fights, more cut rage, more everything. The segment's only going to get better and better, folks. Public freakout commentary. Let's get to the next segment. All right, sober commentary with drunk people. Old city. It is freaking 12.23 a.m. And last night I did not go out for the third Friday in a row. My stomach was not hurting. I just didn't feel like it. I felt tired. And uh, I went on, I want to say I went on an hour walk yesterday, but you know, I played basketball Tuesday and 
uh, went on some, you know, decent long walks this week, and I don't know, I just didn't feel like it. So, like a fucking loser last night, I was uh, playing a Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2 on the PlayStation emulator on my computer for like an hour and a half. And it took me uh, multiple attempts to pass the Philadelphia level, and I was able to get... I was able to get most of it uh, complete. So, yeah, man, that's pretty much what happened there. And I just, that's all I did last night. I played video games and I listened to, you know, just YouTube clips. I followed some live streams and stuff. Uh, that's pretty much what I did. I just realized how loud this music is. Jesus Christ. So, yeah, man, um, that happened. And then tonight, I decided to leave out. I wasn't sure where I was going to go tonight. I was debating, should I go to Cuba Libre? Should I go to this place called Time, which is like a jazz bar? Should I fucking go to Morgan? Should I go to Riverdeck? Should I go here? I didn't know, so I left out at uh, 8.20ish. The bus came within five minutes. And and pretty much, um, I got down here at like 8.55, early as fuck. Started doing some vlogging right away pretty much and I didn't I really have any ideas as far as as far as the blocking goes you know what I'm saying I really didn't have any and then I was gonna I was gonna walk down to the uh, Morgan's Pier and I decided you know fuck that I'm tired of doing the same thing every week every week I walk down to the Morgan's Pier I, I go inside I stand there for like an hour like a jerk off I sit down outside and I head back to Old City I said, you know I'm gonna stay in Old City all night tonight so I was sitting, I was standing around, and, uh, and then pretty much, I fucking, uh, this guy left his car, I think he was an Uber Eats guy, and he got a ticket from a cop and for leaving his, uh, leaving his fucking car there. I feel bad if he is an Uber Eats driver, because he probably got like a hundred or something dollar ticket, and the guy was just doing his job, you know, but he got a ticket for something, it might have been $35, who knows. So yeah, that happened, and pretty much, uh, I was just, I was just, uh, I did another piece of gum to the gum tree, I was just standing around like a jerk off, man, just literally doing nothing, and it's a little breezy tonight, we'll say it's 60 degrees, I should wear the forecast, I'm wearing jeans, uh, I'm wearing, uh, this kind of, it's, I wouldn't say it's too tight, but it's a little tight, tight green shirt, switch it up a little bit, you know. And, of course, I got no draws on. But, you know, when it gets cold out, I'm going to start putting draws on. I mean, I just do it in the springtime and a nice time. But one thing about tonight I got to say is Old City is packed with thoughts. Now, you might think that's it's like that every week. You might think every week, like, oh, yeah, every week it's like that. No, there's always a good amount of women, of course, on Saturday night. But, I mean, tons. Right? I think it's a combination of college seasons probably back in town. So there's more thoughts out than usual, and two, I think it's because the weather's changing, and you know, instead of going to Riverdeck and Morgan's, I think a lot more thoughts were up here. Because I was looking around, I was like, damn, if I was a PUA, I would have been a happy man. In a sense that I want to get laid tonight, but if I was a PUA, I would approach tons of girls. Most of them would have been black, probably, and I would have gotten played. I would have gotten no pussy, regardless of the race, or if they were ugly, fat. Regardless, I approached, like I said, tons of women in my day, and I, I got nothing. Uh, so it would have, it would have, it would have uh, made a difference. Oh yeah, last night Marco uh, texted me. He was like, "Hey, you in Old City right now?" I said, "No," and he was like, um, "He said I haven't been out in months," and I said, "Yeah, I only go out on Saturdays." And then he said, "I got a feeling you're gonna start approaching again." I told him, I said, no, man. I said, I resent women and stuff. Plus, uh, I can't get my life together. And I just don't like women, you know, stuff. And then I told him that uh, about the whole 20% of guys approaching, what is it, the top 20 guys approaching the bottom 60% of girls, something like that. I told him it's all about LMS and he didn't text back. <laughs> I was actually going to text him tonight to... You know, let him know, hey man, you know, you out tonight, but he's probably hanging out with his RST buddies. Is that he's not out? So that's something I forgot to mention about last night. Marco texted me. Um, yeah, Marco the buffet guy. Those who know him as a buffet guy. Uh, so tonight, once again, I stood around like a jerk off. I, oh yeah, so here's what happened. I came tonight. I, 
you know, I told myself I wasn't going to drink much this summer, and I've obviously failed. Now, the good news is I didn't do the whole concoction thing. Every Saturday night, you guys can see I would have my concoction. It was, it was called the Jack uh, Vitamin Water and some cheap Amsterdam vodka. Well, I have not done that since June, so that's the good news. The bad news is tonight I was so fucking bored. It wasn't because I was depressed or anything. I was just so fucking bored from just standing around, not doing anything. I was like, fuck this. I'm going to get me a sh- uh, Citywide, which is a shot and a beer. So I went over to this place called Stowe's. It's a piss spot. I usually rarely buy a drink from there. So I guess I made up for all the times I walked in there without buying anything. And I got uh, Citywide. It was two young thought bartenders. And it looked like they're like not even 21. And I said, yeah, can I get a Citywide? And she said, you want tequila or whiskey? I said, whiskey. I'm not sure if that's the better choice. Either way, I get fucked up quick, so I, I dialed the whiskey real quick. It was a shot. It wasn't a big shot, a little shot. And they give you a shitty Miller High Life, so I, I drunk it with that. And then lots of people started coming in. I think, uh, well, this place doesn't card. So I could tell there's a lot of like underage college kids go there. And they have a Nintendo 64 in there. That's right. That's how cool this place is. They have a Nintendo 64. So these, this white couple came in. They have a side. They actually have a side at the bar. It said... You can't just play the Nintendo 64 and not buy a drink. I don't care if you're waiting for your friend. It's $10 per minute unless you buy a drink or something like that. So that's the side. That's pretty much what it uh, what it said. Um, so, yeah, man. Uh, so I was in there already for like 15 minutes. And then I was just standing around drunk, you know, looking at everybody. Um, fucking I... I, I sat down. I've been sitting down pretty much most of the night. At first, I kind of regretted not going to Morgan's Pier. Then I realized it doesn't matter. I would once again, I would have just stood around. But the whole purpose of leaving out early was to get to Morgan's Pier. So I didn't go tonight. So I would say, you know what? If I if I would have paid five dollars tonight for a cover, if I would have went to, uh, you know, Cuba or Riverdeck or or or. Fuck it. Uh, what's, the, what's the place called? Uh, uh, Thai, whatever. I would have spent five bucks anyway. So it was only six bucks with a tip for my citywide. So I got myself a shot and a beer for a dollar more. Fuck it. And for like the last, I've been sitting down almost all night. So I was sitting down for a little while. I had to take a fucking piss, of course, for the alcohol. So I went to this place. Uh, it's called Bootleggers. And I was in there, and there was a lot of hoes in there as well. So I went in there. I took a monster piss. And. Uh, lots of, uh, if you guys like uh, uh, black chicks, uh, a lot of guys I know at PUA, even black guys I know, they don't like black girls. They're not attracted to them. They're not interested in them. Uh, but lots of black girls out here. And speaking of black girls, in the Stowe's, there was a, just a big group of black girls. They were in a car, and they were partying. You know, they had the music blasted, and they're dancing. There's a lot of attention-craving hoes out here. So if you were at PUA tonight, I wouldn't say you would have did good tonight, but you you would have gave these hoes their attention because that's all they wanted. So uh, I was sitting outside the uh, the plow. I was thinking about going to National Mechanics tonight. That's the place where the bouncers ro- you know, roast me and shit before I get in. But I was like, uh, it's all right. I'll save that for another time. I didn't feel like going in there. Uh, I was sitting down. I saw this uh, this this dude. He was with this big. You know, you guys remember the, the movie, uh, what's it called? Uh, with Rob Schneider, Deuce Bigelow. Remember the guy who was like, damn, that's a big bitch. This chick was tall as hell. She looked like she was like 6'2", giant, fat, uh, black woman. And she could barely fit in this guy's uh, lift. She, like, hit her head against the thing. And I was sitting down, you know. And, um, yeah, man, pretty much that's going on. Hey, everybody, I'm doing a podcast here. Can everybody just mind their business? <laughs> doing a podcast for one or two people right now. No respect. Uh... So yeah, man. Oh yeah. So t- here's some poop stories for you. This has nothing to do with the podcast. So those some people don't want to hear about my poo, but some people were a fan of the poop stories podcast. Uh, I ate the, for for lunch today. I had a big slice of pizza. My parents bought me. I did not ask them for this, and they got me three shish kebabs. They weren't big, but they had a little meat on them, and they were like you know really greasy. They had all the sauce on it. Within a couple minutes of eating it, I took a shit. And it was like really bubbly and watery. It was like diarrhea. And then I took another one of those a couple hours after that. So there's a poop story there for you. Uh, I was like a really, look at that slice of pizza. It was played not, like the one and a half of the video, except this is another place, the ghetto. So my diet, for those of you wondering, is going pretty good. I was looking at my neck and uh, when I had the camera down. 
uh, when I was doing some vlogging. Uh, some of the stuff I did tonight, I, I, I spit a freestyle. You're going to see. You probably, Of course, the time you guys hear this already happened. I spit a freestyle. I was, I was doing a song parody on top of the head on this... Uh, you know, the stupid Spanish song that was pretty catchy. And pretty, A lot of people dancing in the street because of the uh, Lucha. Lucha's got your back. They got the... I wouldn't lie. Actually, I took a piss of Lucha when I first got down here. It was like a restaurant. Everybody was just, you know, sitting down. Everybody's dancing. They moved the tables. And, uh... Yeah, so I was sitting down. And uh, this fucking thought sat right next to me. She had like a... She had a natural fro. She had an athletic... Uh, a skinny athletic bod. She was pretty attractive. She was all dialed up and shit. And she sat down next to me for like a half an hour. The whole time, I was just like playing with my phone. And uh, she was waiting for somebody. And then eventually her people came. It was like uh, it was like a guy and a girl. And then, uh, then across the street from me, there was these uh, two uh, black hoes. They were, they were chasing each other around with their phones. They wanted attention so bad for just everybody. They were um, taking selfies. They were on a lot of. They were on Instagram, taking all the pictures and shit. You know, you can tell, man. And it, uh, you can tell. There's a lot of hoes on Instagram. They probably got a bunch of thirsty ass dudes following them. So you know, they make their little videos of them in their cars singing to each other. I mean, I never stood the guys who did that. Like even even when I was a thirsty PUA, I never follow hoes on Instagram. I would never follow a girl. Because they get enough attention. I said, if I would approach a girl, I would just approach one. I would never follow one on Instagram or anything. I never, I never understood that. You know, because it's just, it's just they're going to get a bunch of likes and comments from dudes. And it's not going to get them anywhere. Before I started recording this, this, uh, this big black dude was like, yo, OG, yo, OG. And he was talking to me, apparently. I didn't know my name was OG. So I turned around. He said, you got a cigarette light? I said, no. So, yeah, that was weird. I, I never got called an OG before. I'm not an OG, folks. OG Loke. For those of you who play Santa, San Andreas. That's what they call me. So, yeah, it was lots of uh, uh, fucking hoes out here tonight. You know, lots of mo- morning usual. Way morning usual. And uh, once again, uh, you know, they don't want to be approached by some uh, fat neck loser like me. <laughs> no, seriously, I was looking at my neck and I... Uh, <laughs> Before I was like recording one of these things, and uh, man, I got a I got a double I got a double neck. So much fun, but yeah, man. So, anyways, I'm recording this early. What time is it? Ten thirty-six. Yeah, I'm recording this early because I'm pretty much. I'm just gonna take a fucking piss, and I'm gonna head home. I was actually gonna leave. At, I, I felt tired today. I was yawning. I don't think it was. I don't think it was actually the whiskey because and and the beer. Because when I was at home, it was around 7.30 or so, I was laying down. And I felt like I could go for a nap, like a late nap. And I was thinking about staying in tonight. But I was like, you know, if it would have rained tonight, I totally would have stayed in. But I was like, you know, it's nice out tonight. It's going to be nice 60 degrees. Fuck it, I'll go out. Even, I don't, even though I didn't do anything. So, yeah, I've, I've tried to cut back drinking this summer. And I have a little bit, but not more than I wanted to. I told myself I didn't want to drink anything because I was going broke. I think I got some birthday money and some stuff and, you know, all this shit. And I still haven't got it, you know. But anyways, I don't want to turn this into a finance podcast. But I, uh, yeah, so like I said, uh, lots of fucking, uh, you know, lots of booty out here. Lots of tits. Oh, yeah, so I was also at one point I was when I, when I, when I left the bootleggers, when I was, um, after I took my monster piss, there was this really short black girl. She had giant titties. Like, not giant, huge titties. Definitely a D. And this guy, he was, like, eating something. This old guy. And he was, like, sucking on it. And they were like, oh, yeah, you sucking on that and everything. Uh, I don't know. That's not important. I don't know. I like to include every single detail, folks. But I sat down for literally, I don't know how long, two fucking hours. If I sat down so long, my back hurts. Usually my legs and my feet hurt for me just walking around and stuff. It's the opposite. My legs and my feet feel fine. My back started to hurt because I was just sitting there. I feel, like I, I feel like I had a fucking desk job. I was just sitting there doing nothing. Just staring at people. But I was drunk. A little drunk. And look, I keep telling myself, you know, I, I actually had three drinks this week. I think I'm turning. I hope I'm. A, I think I'm turning into an alcoholic, folks. But I'm going to be broke soon. Um, I, had a, I had a beer Monday night at the boat, Mike. Um, they give your first drink is free. So you just tip the guy. And then Wednesday, I decided to get a beer at 
and Bill's open mic. And then tonight I had a shot and a beer. So that's that's a lot. You know, usually I don't I drink maybe twice at the most, rarely three times in the week. But there you go. There you go, man. Uh, hear that loud spick music. So yeah, Lucha is popping tonight, but it, it causes it gets the people to dance, it gets the people to shake their booty and and such. But yeah, man. Uh, fucking. Uh, oh yeah, just people. They were parking their car. They were like leaving. They like hit somebody's car. Like give it a good tap. I used to do that every once in a while. I was not the best parallel parker. I saw this dude that works in National Mechanics. He used to say hi to me in there. He doesn't talk to me uh, inside. He only talks to me inside the bar. You know what I'm saying? That's like he only talks to me inside the bar. It's just a, what a phony. Oh, you're going to talk to me inside the place you know me from? I hate people to do that, you know? Um, yeah, so there's not much really to happen tonight as far as me goes. Aside from the guy who just asked me a cigarette, I am in incognito mode. And that's the way I like to keep it. I am invisible, folks. That's what I am. I am invisible. And uh, as far as... Um, I think next week... I'm gonna st- I'm gonna start leaving out. I think starting next week, at least 9:30, 9:30 at the earliest for now on. I think I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start leaving. I think that's what I'm gonna start doing because I left out tonight 8:30, and I, I was I thought I was gonna go to Schmorgan's rear, but I didn't. And I just thought about it, and I was like, "What the fuck? Why did I leave so early for nothing?" I could have just left out 9.30. Would have made a difference, you know? It's like when I got the drink, it was probably like around... It's probably like around 10 o'clock. And, you know, I could have left out fucking 9.30. Got down here at 10.15 or so. Would have made a difference. Um, but yeah, oh yeah, so this guy, his name's Burger Planet. I don't know him in person. He's a live streamer. He's not famous... But he's one of these live streamers. He banned me from his chat yesterday. And what happened was yesterday I trolled this guy so bad. Um, pretty much. He uh, he gets he gets like really triggered easily. It's called triggered. That's the term. Right? He gets triggered easy. So pretty much uh, yesterday I, there's this guy he doesn't like named Mexican Andy. He's also a streamer. And he used to be friends with Mexican Andy, and Mexican Andy kind of turned his back on him. So I said, during this live chat, he only had like 100 people watching him. I said, Mexican Andy and I are going to be eating ribs on live stream. He's like, what the hell, man? You're promoting your stuff on your channel? Get the hell out of here. And he banned me. He put me on, you know, first he put me on timeout, and I guess he just banned me. You know, if you put hide user from channel, you know, then nobody can see. So I was trying to post in his chat. Nothing mean, just trying to talk to the guy, and he banned me. I mean, I could post on my Jack 2.0 channel, my other channel, but he banned me. So I think that's funny. Uh, that's nothing to do with the segment, by the way. Of course. But I guess I'm just stalling. Uh, I guess I'm just, I'm just fucking stalling, because... Nah, I don't. Yeah, he just, the guy he just told you about, he just asked me for a light again. It's like, it was like he doesn't believe me. First of all, it doesn't make sense. There was a guy smoking a cigarette right next to him. I don't know why he didn't ask them. It's like he asked me again. He realized I was the same guy. So he must be out of it. Um, so, yeah, man. Um, I guess I'm stalling the segment. I should end. I'm going to end it now. If I can think of anything else that happened or if anything else that happens between the time I take a piss and go home, I'll add it. It's possible. But right now, there ain't shit going on. I gotta take a piss. I got plenty of time, though. I'm not leaving for another 15 minutes. But I just wanted to record this early. I was actually gonna do it a little bit earlier, but I decided not to. But this has been Sober Commentary with Drunk People. And I don't know if this is the first part or the last part or whatever. But I had some whiskey. Whiskey! Alright, that's enough. Okay, so one last thing I forgot to mention. This guy drove on the sidewalk. You're going to see it on the video blog. He drove up on the sidewalk, this fucking guy. 
And then this guy right now, he's he can't parallel park, and now this guy's helping him. He was always gonna he was gonna hit the car so bad, and now the people across the street are helping him. They like the guy jumped out to like you know direct him, and now he's fish. He still can't park. He's still like cricket and shit. But everyone's helping him. See, guys, this is what they call the city of Burley Love. And he can't park for shit. I thought I could have parked for shit. And this is the Indian guy. I thought they supposed to be good at math. All right. I, that's it for now. That's all. I mean, anything else, I'll add it once again. I don't know. All right. It's Sunday night. It's time to wrap this episode up. Uh, I have not heard back from the job. It's been a... It's been like a little over a week, almost a week and a half, so I assume if I don't hear back from them tomorrow, maybe disqualify me for the position. Hey, that'd be cool if they saw my MGTOW channel. <laughs> that'd be fun. Well, listen, I don't care. My sister came over today, and she was trying to help me with my resume. It's kind of funny. She's like, she's like, oh, your resume looks terrible. I'm going to help you fix it. And then she goes, you have a really lazy uh, work ethic. And I go, why the fuck are you going to fix it then? Hey, why don't you put that on the resume? You know, so she's an idiot, and... Uh, she told me that a year ago, and she never helped me with it. So she was, she, you know, she came over for for nothing, and uh, yeah, I was definitely hungover today. You know, I was definitely I woke up and I, you know, from the shot of whiskey and the beer and I had last night. I was able to make it to the park, but I did consider going back to sleep. Definitely took like two naps today. Definitely hungover from that. But uh, yeah, so the next episode, not much content this week on the Josh Jack Network uh, because you know mostly vlogs. But next week, there should be a prank calls for you. I have an idea. Usually it's Thursday night. It's the night I do it. And then uh, Joe Lowstein uh, sent me a weird text. He said, hey, I'm thinking about making my my next episode, which I guess is this coming Friday, my last. Uh, so I think he's definitely thinking about quitting. I think he's running out of content. I think he's, you know, tired of dealing with the trolls and stuff. It's getting to him. I don't know what's going to happen, but... There should be an Atheist Hotline show next week. Uh, on the next episode, there should be a... Um, I only have three old prank calls left. They're all featured as Kid Zach, who was not really a friend once again. He was just somebody I knew who thought I was... You know, he just thought I was interested because I did prank calls and songs. We So we called some mo uh, hotels. There's two parts to that and then some other 7-Eleven call. And that's it. It'll be nothing but new calls from now on. So, yeah, that's it. I yapped for two minutes. Let's wrap this up with some topical and odd news. As I said, I'm getting rid of the Saturday night topical news portion of the show because there's, you know, there's sometimes there's news. But I looked yesterday and there was nothing. Wait, Sean Mendez uh, says sorry for really racially insensitive com uh, comments, but they never really say. What did he say though? Can they give me the fucking answer? Has apologized for making, but what did he? They always say, oh, I apologize for understanding the offensive, but they always say that. But what did he say? What the fuck did he say? I just think a lot of things should be moved on, but also things. Uh, I had friends when I was 14. Blah, blah. They, they never tell what he said, though. That's what I hate about these news sites. What did he say? Did he say something about blacks? Did he say something about spicks? Did he say something about gooks? Chinks? Or white people? What did he say? Okay, this is what he wrote. He wrote, I can see the black coming out of you, Lauren. I'm black. Burn up my hoe. And light skinned girls. He's also been accused of referring to a friend of his, my nigga. Well, he's just trying to relate to the public. He also wrote, In the back of my heart, I feel like I need to be seen with someone like a girl in public to prove to people I'm not gay. Well, that's not homophobic. People think he's gay. It was okay for it when uh, Chris Brown beat Rihanna. I mean, I was, I made a song about that. It was, it was okay. But they said, well, he was young and, hey, look. Oh, what's this? Burger King employee allegedly refuses to serve a deaf woman. I guess her sign language wasn't enough. And he was fired after claiming he was too busy. This was in... It says... she uh, she oh, oh, she wrote the order on her phone before the, this Oklahoma City. The employee told he was too busy and couldn't do it. I had my order ready. I typed it on my phone. So, yeah. Damn. He was just like, look, I don't got time for this shit right now. I don't understand, you know. I don't I don't I don't want to read it. I'm busy. Yeah, Burger King, they're always busy. Burger King has the worst fucking service. There's a Burger King up the street from my house. Fucking hate it. I my mom wants me to go there every once in a while. I told her I don't want to go there. 
I'd rather, I'd rather go, go to the supermarket, walk there, and, and, and cook a burger than go up to Sweet and Burger King. I hate them. Service sucks. The, the food has gone down. I hope they all close down. Take your fucking spicy Cheeto macaroni and cheese and shut up your nigger asses. What do you think about that? Howie Day arrested for assault second time since 2018 at a New York City hotel. It says it's signed on assault and drug charges. Um, yeah. Please, Cody, singer 34, has been on tour. Woman died of feminine. Uh, okay. Well, listen, he's on a roll. Chat, chef at New York restaurant found dead. I think I read that. Did I read that on Thursday? I think I did. If not, I read it again. There you go. Dick Sporting Goods testing whether to stop selling guns. Now you shouldn't have stopped selling guns. Just because one nut job shoots everybody up, that's a that's Walmart's fault. That's not your fault, Dicks. There was only one Dicks. Um, I did a prank calls for you when I called Dicks. Remember that? And it was it was awful. I don't even know why I even put the episode up. Trump can keep U.S. business out of China. Yeah, let's not deal. Let's not do business with those gooks. You know what I'm saying? Alright. That was there's a lot of there's a, China's a big country as we all know. Wait, is it a city? I'm kidding. Well, let's see, uh Dick Van Dyke makes surprise appearance at a Disney convention. Is that it must have been a hologram, huh? Theme park closes ride over a complaint it resembles an offensive object. A cock. So it looks like a cock, so what? It's okay to have the uh you know, that statue. One president candidate received a donation from Michael J. Fox. Uh-oh. Who's he backing? I hope you guys don't get shaken up about this. Get it? He has Parkinson's? Alright, that's not nice. Parkinson's is a fucking terrible disease. And who knows? It might happen to me. I think it's I think it's uh, Bernie Sanders, I believe. I think Michael J. Fox is digging. Marty McFly would like the whole free college thing. That sounds fucking awesome. Let's get to the uh, weird news. Or odd news if there's any. Usually there's not much. Just wacky stories about animals. A woman took a shit the other day, and a crocodile came out of her cunt. Did she? Big Bone, 26-pound cat, up for uh, adoption at a Philly uh, shelter. It shows a big black woman snuggling her. Why are you giving it away if you love it so bad? 800-pound butter sculpture unveiled at New York State Fair. New York is least friendly state in America. Well, it's supposed to be. It's New York. I asked for directions and once somebody said, Hey buddy, go fuck yourself. Florida vacation home invaded by vomiting vultures. Can you imagine if a fucking a bunch of vultures, they're scary. They usually try to peck your eyes out and then they're puking on you. New York to fix bridge signs over forgotten letter in Como's name. Creepy dolls freaking out residents in, in Missouri town. This is in Jefferson uh, County. Woman pulls gator from pants. Yes, I'm saying. It's always something like that. A woman was taking a shit the other day, and all of a sudden, she put a tampon up her cunt, and a fucking raccoon popped out of her pussy hole. It's like, what? How do you not know there's a raccoon in your cunt? Oregon woman rescued from septic tank after being trapped in raw sewage for days. Officials say in Oregon. Woman steals stroller from New Jersey Shore, but child left behind. Three women caught on camera stealing a stroller. So they left the baby and said, Fuck, I'm not going to spend 18 bucks on a stroller. I'm going to spend it on that birth control pill for all the black cock I sucked this week. That, that doesn't make any sense. Black cock. You suck black cock, you can't get pregnant. Nah, I don't know what I'm doing. Leave me alone. Hey, look, go listen to something else. Leave me alone. New uh, Hampshire time caps open 50 years later after big surprise. Washington man claims Ariana Grande told him to cut power lines. Yeah, I, I should, I should, we should all start blaming her for something. You know, Ariana Grande told me to, told me to shoot up a bunch of people. Allegedly, I had to, I had to uh, stop the show. I had to take a shit, and then I almost puked in my mouth a little bit. But with the power of editing, you couldn't even tell because I just told you. That's right. Let's continue. Golfer, golfer ignores seven foot alligator. He says golfing in Florida is just different. One million dollars worth of cocaine found in a banana box. I'm not sure if I read that already. It seems like there's always something like that happening. It says Rhode Island portable tall explosive dropped by bomb squad. Five thousand dollar reward offered. Gunman Park. Oh, here it is. It was it was swastikas. That's what it looked like. Not a penis. Albanian restaurant owner at Central Viral windshield smash video. Business torn down. 
Yeah, I, I used to know a bunch of Albanians. I met this one Albanian kid in high school, in middle school, and then I knew like 15 Albanians. They're okay people. They don't like blacks either, some of them. Well, listen, folks, that is it for the show. Thank you for listening. I just want to bottom my rotten heart. I'll see you folks on the next one. You just listen. Ah, the fuck myself. Congratulations. You just sat through the most awful podcast you can sit through. Josh Cast.